Hey everyone, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to show you in Cubase 8 how you can show all the plugins or all the insert plugins all at one time on a selected track. All right, so what I've done here is I've created this function and I've linked it to Touch OS. Uh, you can probably do the same thing with Lemur, I just don't have it to test it out. All right, so I've got my iPhone in front of me and I've got a button linked to the function that I've created. So I'm going to press the button right now. All right, see all the plugins came up and see they're linked to this violin track right here. These are all the insert plugins I had going on. And I'm press the button one more time. Bam, that's it. <laughs> all right, so how in the world do we do that? Um, the problem in Cubase 8 is that under uh, the key commands window right here, we've got a macro to close all the plugins that are open, but we don't have one to show all the ones on that insert channel. Um, I mean, you, you can type it in, you know, hit hit search. You want to search all day long. I didn't find one. Um, I'd be pretty happy if someone found one for me. But anyway, so it's not in there. Um, so we can't link it to a key command or a key combo like we normally would in Cubase. So we've kind of got to go outside of Cubase to do this. Another issue I ran into with uh, OSX Mavericks is that in Apple Script, one of the functions that actually tells the mouse to move and you can give it like an X and Y coordinate, that function is broken for some reason. It'll compile in the code, but when you execute the code, it'll never move the mouse or click anything. And I found a lot of uh, references to this on message boards. So anyway, um, here's how I do this. Uh, we've got this little program called Auto Mouse Click, which is free to download. Uh, the links to all these programs are in the description of this video. Um, also, I made a blog post. Uh, I'm going to put the link uh, right here on the screen now. And I'll just leave that up. Uh, you can go to that blog post and kind of follow along and uh, get the code, get the links and everything. All right, so in Auto Mouse Click, uh, where it says Get Mouse Cursor Position right here, if you click this button, then you can add a shortcut. So we'll just use the letter F. Then we're going to go over here in Cubase. Uh, we'll make sure that it is maximized on the screen. And we'll hover over this as Edit Channel Settings. And then we're going to press the F key. Alright, so go back to Auto Mouse Click. And now it has targeted the coordinates of that mouse click that I made. So I know that the edit channel settings button right here is at 154 and 131 on my screen. That can change depending on if you have two monitors set up or you've got your resolution set different. Uh, so you'll have to do this on your screen to figure out like what your settings are. Um, so what we'll do is we will just kind of jot these down like 154 and 131 and then Close that, and then we'll go over to Better Touch Tool. And in here, what we're going to do is create a keyboard shortcut um, to kind of carry out this function. Uh, QAs does have a built-in function. If you click Option, Shift, and Left Click while you're over the Edit Channel Settings button, um, it will pull up all the plugins. So that's nice, but it's just not available in the Key Commands menu. Um, so what we're going to do in Better Touch Tool is we're going to create a keyboard shortcut for that. So if you go to this plus symbol right here, you click it, you will scroll down, find Cubase 8, click open, and that will add it to this list right here. I've already added mine. Then after I select it in this top menu bar, you've got trackpad, magic mouse. We want to do a keyboard shortcut. So we'll select that. We need to add one first. <laughs> then we'll go down here, click Shift S, and that adds it right here. And then over here, we can say we want that shortcut to trigger a predefined action. So we're going to click this box, click mouse click options, and then more mouse modifiers. I did this last time, let's see. Alright, so it pulls up this little menu, and you can add modifier keys to a mouse click. This is kind of how we get around the problem with Apple Script. Uh, so we'll click the shift, and the option, and the left click on the mouse, which is exactly what you'd press if you were hovered over this edit channel settings button to pull up all the plugins. So we'll click save and now we've created our macro. So now we're going to go over to Osculator. I've already identified my button here by pressing it 
Um, under event type, we'll select Apple Script, and then we'll click Parameters. Uh, now in here, you click the plus button to add a new script. Um, let's do that. Blank box. This is where you'll copy the code that's on the blog post. Uh, just copy it directly in here. And then, in my case, I've already got it copied in. And you'll only need to change two lines. This first line right here, this is where you'll put in those mouse coordinates that you got with auto mouse click. Uh, so we'll pull those up. Uh, you'll just type in right here, oops, 154. And right here, you would type in 131. Um, mine were slightly different, but it's still the same button. All right, now all you have to do is scroll down to here where it says keystroke M. And this line is the line where you will enter the keyboard shortcut you set up in Better Touch Tool. Um, so in my case earlier, I set up a keyboard shortcut for Shift, Option, and the letter M. Um, so I've changed that to M, and then I put my modifier keys right here. It doesn't matter if I put Option down first and then Shift down, just as long as they're both within those two brackets. Um, after that's done, you'll click Compile, this little hammer icon, and that will kind of check the code and make sure there's no uh, errors in it. Then you will close this window and come over here to the value column and click that. And then you can see you've got the list of scripts that you created. So we'll click the Show All Plugins one. And then after that's done, so that's it. Pull up your uh, button and press it. And it will show all the plugins, hopefully, if you've done everything correctly. Uh, you know, make sure that your, your device, your iPad, your uh, whatever it is, is connected to Osculator. You're actually getting a signal. And uh, make sure Butter Touch Tool is open and running right here. Um, and assuming that it is, then everything will pop up auto magically and this works like I said for instrument tracks or audio tracks and uh, I know you can do some stuff in the generic remote uh, but it only targets specific insert slots like slot 1 or slot 2 um, you can't really pull everything up at once um, but yeah that's it I just wanted to share that with you guys I thought it was awesome it took a while to figure out but it, uh, it works really well and uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, please feel free to comment below and uh that's it thanks for watching